Holy Cross community. Welcome back to my kitchen for another episode of Rez Hall Eats. Today we're making a super simple, no cook, um, protein, rainbow, power bowl, that type of, you can call it whatever you want. Rainbow because there's so many vegetables in it. Um, and protein because we're using cottage cheese. Um, you can also use yogurt. Um, and I like to switch it up because cottage cheese, I feel like, is a good afternoon snack. A lot of people eat it for breakfast, too. So, um, I am going to show you how to put it together, but it's sort of fun. It's like a palette. It's like you're painting your own, um, uh, piece of art or creating your own piece of art with the colors that you have. So, um, the base is your cottage cheese. So why don't we get started with that? So... And again, um, hopefully you picked up most of your ingredients, all of your ingredients at the lobby shop. And that's working out well. And um, hopefully you're also seeing one of your students, Julianne Estevez. She is actually doing these recipes from her, um, from her room. And we'll be sharing those every week as well to show you how easy it is to whip them up from your res hall wherever you live on campus. All right, so we're starting out with cottage cheese, which has a lot of protein. So this would be a great way to kickstart your day with breakfast or um, also a great pre-workout, post-workout meal. Um, so those of you on schedules for working out, great option. And you can make these ahead of time. I would say a couple days ahead. Um, you can make them and store them in a mason jar or a um, some kind of Tupperware or glass jar. Okay, so I'm putting about a half a cup um, as my base. All right. Um, my bowl is probably a little bit big, but about a half a cup is my base. And then I've already washed all my fruit. I do suggest that, right? You want to clean off your fruit. Um, and you can use whatever you want in the, uh, for the, for the recipe, I suggested that you have strawberries, blueberries, kiwi, bananas. So you have all these different kinds of colors, the rainbow, right? Um, I like bananas in my shakes, my protein shakes every day, but I do not like, um, eating them normally. <laughs> Is that strange? Does anybody else feel that way? Um, so I'm going to use strawberries, mango, and I'm going to show you this mango. It's my favorite kind. I don't know if this one is, is perfectly ripened, but we're going to use it anyway because um, because a beautiful color. So this is called a champagne mango or a, a El, El Tufo. Let's see if it says that. This one just says, says champagne mango. Um, but these are smaller than the regular mango that you'd see in the grocery store that's usually bigger um, and green and orange. This one's more of a yellow color. Um, and I'm going to peel it carefully. Yeah, it feels like it's not perfectly ripe, but I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to embrace it, and we're going to go with it. And again, whatever your favorite fruits are, you could use raspberries, um, blackberries, whatever is really in season, honestly. This would, this would be a great summertime um, breakfast or snack to have. And if you're into meal prepping your, your meals ahead of time, like I said, you could probably do this one a couple days in advance. Sort of like a yogurt parfait or an overnight oats type of idea. Okay. I'm definitely doing this in a rush sort of way. I'm going to get to that mango. Okay. Get the peel out of the way. All right. With anything slippery like this, just be careful. All right. I think that's going to be enough mango. Both sides will be enough mango for what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slice it. Again, this is sort of your work of art. I want to see what you all come up with. It's like guarantee no one will look the same. We all have a different way we want to plate it, which plating to me is Half of the fun of eating is to look at it and the beauty of it before you enjoy it. It's sort of part of mindful eating, really appreciating what you're about to sit down and fuel your body with. I have two different kinds of kiwis, and I forget which one is which because they look the same from the outside. Um, one is just a regular, I think this is the regular green kiwi. Yep. Okay, so if a kiwi is ripe, you should be able to cut it in half. I have a grapefruit spoon, so it has a serrated edge along the top. And I'm just going to scoop at the very edge of the kiwi, um, in between the edge of the kiwi and the skin. And I'm just going to go around. It's going to start to release some of its juices. 
But when I learn this trick, and then you get out half the kiwi. Boop, boop. See it? And you can slice it up if you want. I'm going to do the other one. I guess I'm going to have a lot of kiwi in this one. This side is coming out much easier. Look at that. I even got some of the end of that off. So again, I just scooped it out with my grapefruit spoon. So that's a good trick to use when you're cutting kiwi. All right, let's see this other one. It's called a, a sun gold mango. So I think it's yellow or orange. Ooh, it's sort of like a yellowish green. So we'll have some of that in there too, even though we have the mango, but it's a little bit, it's a lighter yellow. So this is gonna be so good. It's smelling delicious. All of these things from nature that we're gonna fuel our bodies with. And again, if you were dairy, if you had a dairy-free lifestyle or you have a dairy intolerance, you could use um, it, some other type of yogurt, a nut yogurt, a coconut yogurt. Um, there's so many different variations now and plant-based things out there that you can pretty much make this your own. But I wanted to give you the, the base so that you could take this and run with it and make it what you, what you would like. All right, so do I have everything cut up? I think I do. All right, so I'm going to start and plate my berries. I fear this won't be as creative because I'm trying to do it sort of brushed. Let's see here. My mango, my strawberries. I wonder if I could do this. I feel like it's a little Swiss yogurt they would. Are you guys missing Margot today in my episode? My daughter usually joins me, but she has tons of homework to do. So she's plugging away at that. Mango on there. I'm going to slice my kiwi. My kiwi has, I'm going to slice in half. And then we're going to move on to some toppings. Once we have this all done. Right there. Oh, yeah. Pile it on. I feel like this is a meal, a um, breakfast you'd get in a resort. A tropical resort that has lots of yummy fresh food. Look at us making it in the winter. It'll feel like summer. All right, all my fruit is there. Do you see that? Put it all around the cottage cheese. And now I'm gonna take my, I got some gluten-free honey almond um, granola. Any granola will do, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna put my hand in there. And I'm just gonna put some of that in the middle. Pile that up and then I'll mix it in when I'm eating it. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to have this as my afternoon snack. It'll get me all the way to dinner. I'm going to add, I don't have, I suggested ch chia seeds, which are amazing. Um, I don't have any at home, but I do have acai powder. Um, and this is, a, this is a very good antioxidant and it is, contains omega fatty acids, which are important for your cells. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, sprinkle a little bit of that in there. And it smells sort of fruity. So it'll add, See, it'll add a little bit more of a fruity flavor. I mean, not much. I'm not going to do much at all, but even for the color, it's purple. Oops, a little too much of that. And then I'm going to go with some cinnamon, too. But if you had, you could sprinkle on nuts. Um, nuts, you could do chia seeds, you could do hemp seeds, really anything. You could even sprinkle a little bit of maple syrup on here, too, or agave to give it a little sweetness. So that is a super simple... Very quick, I'm going to come up here and show you. Um, way to serve up some fruit, protein, carbs, healthy carbs, a really balanced um, meal or, or a snack before, like I said, pre or post workout. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I want to see your pictures because I know everybody's going to turn out differently. I want to see what your favorite flavor combinations are, what your favorite fruits are. So make sure that you snap a picture of yours afterwards and you just send it to our Instagram account so we can see it. Thank you all so much for joining this episode of Reds Hall Eats and have a great day.